Hey friends, it is time for round two of driveway visits. You'll have to wait and see whose house I'm headed to. Follow me, let's go. Well, I just pulled up to this person's house. Here we go. Elizabeth, don't don't just say hi to me. You should probably say hi to everybody. Hi, people. In uh, in a, in a word or phrase, how would you describe how you have been doing the last couple weeks? Um, sad. Uh, in a couple words, okay. Sure. Yeah, Non-productive. We do nothing at all. Just like everybody else. Yeah. In boring. Why, why did you choose the word sad? Because I think a lot of people can relate to that word. I'm nervous that we're not going to go back to school. It's a pretty good chance. And, and I really like this year. All my teachers are good. And I met a lot of new people. So I'm sad. Do you want to give a shout out to any teachers who you're particularly missing right now? Mr. Adderburn. Yeah. yeah. What does he teach? He's science. He's really nice. Mr. Adderberg. Mr. Adderberg. Shout out to Mr. Adderberg if you're watching this. Probably not, but yeah. still. Elizabeth, who all is at home with you right now? Um, Sam, right there. Jake, and my mom, and George. That's it. My dad's at work. What does your dad do for work? He's a doctor. I'm sure people are wondering. Your your dad is healthy, right? Yeah, he's, for now. He's doing, he's doing okay. Well, I'm sure... That there are lots of students listening now who know someone, whether it's a parent or a family member, like your dad, who has especially stressful work right now. On a scale of 1 to 10, 10 being the nicest, how nice have your brothers been to you? Just kidding, don't answer that. You don't need to answer it, it's okay. What are some things that you've been doing to pass the time? I'm on my phone a lot. What do you do when you're on your phone? Watch TikToks. Watch TikToks. And I make TikToks. And you make hard. TikToks. Would okay, great. Do you want to share your TikTok so people can follow you? Yeah. Okay. So E L I Z A A A B E T H underscore sixteen. What's something you've been doing to pass the time that does not involve a screen? Well, I'm making coffees and I'm learning how to make coffees. Which one's your favorite? Iced mocha coffee and iced caramel coffee. What advice do you have for all the students watching out there? Pray. Don't be, like, try not to worry so much. And, like, be outside. Like, do the talk or, like, play basketball or something. And, like, even if it's just as simple as, like, taking a walk in the woods. Just, like, be outside. It's um, it's good for the mindset. Listen to your mom's advice when she tells you to get off your phones. What's something you have learned about yourself or about God or about the world in um, the last couple weeks? God has everything under control. What I've learned is my mom told me a lot because I forgot it a lot and I would be nervous and always worried. And just, I learned to pray a lot more. Like, I started praying a lot more. I learned a lot that the outside helps you in your mindset. There are a lot of people, myself included, who have felt, who have, who have been worrying about things the last few weeks. Yeah, it's hard. And, and it's so true that often we don't need to learn new things about God. We just need to be reminded mm -hmm. of the things about God that we already know. You can, it's easy to forget in uh -huh. pandemics and like this. So shout out to your mom for helping you remember. Thank you for letting me come for a driveway visit, Elizabeth. Of course. Anytime. Well, that was just... That was great. Thanks, Elizabeth, for providing really great answers. And uh, I'm going to head home now. Okay, I just got back home. That's another episode of Driveway Visits in the books. 
Thanks for checking in. We will see you tomorrow for Middle School Live. Later, guys.